Today I'm going to bring you five dollar store Christmas hacks to keep your holiday season budget friendly. Hi guys, welcome to Refreshing Motherhood. My name is Taylor. If you are new here, I'm all about being real, raw, and relevant. And today I am talking about Christmas on a budget and specifically five things you can do from the dollar store to give you a beautiful Christmas decor, Christmas wrapping, Christmas gifts, all super, super cheap and affordably. So let's jump right in. So the first dollar store hack that I have for you is actually cards dollar store or the dollar tree whatever type of dollar store you have around you they typically have amazing amazing cards that you can get for just a dollar if you go to a typical store it's anywhere from five to seven dollars for one card and i think that that is a little bit outrageous and totally breaks my budget so if you have a family member that you need to write a thank you card for a christmas gift or even you want to send a handwritten christmas card to somebody special in your life go ahead and check out the dollar store they have so many options and they're really great they also have packs there of multiple thank you cards so that you can spend one dollar and knock out a bunch of family members at the same time dollar store hack number two for you is wrapping the dollar store has beautiful Christmas wrapping paper and I don't know about you but me personally I don't like using the same wrapping paper over and over again and if you get the big giant rolls from Costco they're expensive and everybody has the same wrapping paper for everything and I just don't like it it doesn't feel as special it doesn't feel as unique and I like having a little bit of a difference in theme so I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I got so something I'm really excited about this year for Christmas is I am doing special wrapping paper for each family member so each family member is getting a different roll of wrapping paper and what i like about this is the dollar store they don't have a ton of wrapping paper per roll it's only a dollar obviously so you can easily choose just one family member use one roll for all of their presents and then you don't have to buy tags you don't have to buy anything extra for the actual gift you can just wrap it like this so these are some of the prints that I found from the dollar store I think that they're super cute they're really in trend they have this almost burlapy color on the back and then just a bunch of different patterns with reds and greens and whites and blacks and it's just perfect for kind of the rustic Christmas that I do in my house and for my decor I think that they're really pretty they also have amazing ribbon options for a dollar and ribbon can be really expensive so I got one ribbon for each roll so I'm only spending two dollars per person on their wrapping paper this year and something fun that I'm gonna do is tear off a little piece of the wrapping paper and put it in the bottom of their stocking so that way Christmas morning they can open their stocking find their wrapping paper and then look under the tree and see which presents are theirs I think that's a super fun idea it keeps a little bit of suspense there for Christmas morning and I think that is really fun for kids dollar store hack number three is something really fun I think is gifts for employees employees employers or teachers or any type of gift that you have to give for the holiday season sometimes they can really add up so I love handmade gifts I love homemade gifts specifically homemade cookies or anything if you have like your favorite holiday or Christmas cookie recipe go ahead and bake those cookies and then from the dollar store you can pick up these adorable gift boxes these gift boxes they have a ton of different prints they have four that come in one pack so you are knocking out four different people's gifts you can knock out four different teachers stuff these with some cookies and they look super cute super adorable and your teacher friends or your employees or your co-workers are going to love getting a handmade gift it shows that you put some thought and some care into them and that you're really thinking about them this christmas season the fourth dollar store hack i have for you are christmas ornaments oh my goodness the dollar store has some beautiful christmas ornaments and i don't know about you but i love a fully decked out christmas tree and when my husband and i first got married we didn't have any ornaments to ourselves and I went to the dollar store and I stocked up for only a few bucks on a ton of different beautiful ornaments for our tree and it made our tree look so pretty they have all of these really pretty sparkly ones they have a ton of different options they have packs of just the normal ball Christmas ornaments that you can put on your tree that you can use for DIY projects they're really great but what I specifically love is if you have to do a ornament exchange or any type of white elephant that has to do with Christmas ornaments I know I used to do that a lot at work or we would have family parties where we would do kind of like the white elephant Christmas ornament gift like game and I loved getting 
a beautiful dollar store Christmas ornament and you spent $1, usually it's like a $20 limit, you spend $1 and you can even wrap it up in a cute dollar store box and there you go, you spent $2 on something and you're not having to break the budget on a another Christmas event or Christmas gift that you were anticipating buying. So these are really beautiful and like this is a really good size. So I love their ornaments. And the very last dollar store hack I have for you is DIY ornaments for special events or special things in your family. So this is kind of like the last ornament, but the last one is more for, like I was saying, the like gift exchange or if you are gifting an ornament to somebody, even if you want to tie an ornament onto a gift that you're giving, that would work perfectly, but this is for you. This is for your family. What I love about this is it has meaning and it creates memories. So I created this two dollar ornament for my baby's first Christmas. This is her little smudgy handprint. It's not perfect, but I love it so much. It just shows her little personality and I think it's so special. I wrote on the back Denver's first Christmas. That's my daughter's name. And then this ball ornament was $1 and I filled it with red jingle bells and the pack of those were $1. So this was a $2 ornament. It matches my tree perfectly. And I think it's really special to be able to create something for your family to mark a special memory, you could do anything. You could put anything meaningful in this little orb and put it on your tree. You could put a graduation tassel. You could put your baby's first socks that they wore coming home from the hospital or anything sentimental. You can put it in here. And I just think it's really special. And they have those little handmade ornaments that you can have people write on that says, you know, baby's first Christmas. And those can be really expensive, $20, $30 even, but this does just as well. And I think it's even more special because you took the time to handcraft it and it's really cool. So there's my five dollar store hacks for you to keep you on budget this holiday season. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below if you have a dollar store hack for Christmas that I missed. I would love to hear it and I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss another one of my uploads. I have some really fun things coming out for December and I can't wait to share them all with you. So I hope you have an amazing Christmas and I will see you next time. Bye guys. And I am a budget loving first time mama and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to shop for Christmas and buy amazing gifts that do not break the bank. So Christmas time is a time that I feel like it's so easy to completely blow your budget and spend so much more money than is actually necessary. And so I wanna give you my five tips for doing Christmas on a budget.